Hi everyone, welcome back to Zaxdeck. Today, we have an important tutorial for Windows 11 users. We'll be showing you three methods to disable disk checking at startup. This can be a real time saver if you find it a bit annoying. So, without further ado, let's dive in. Method 1 involves using the command prompt. Here's how you do it. First open a command prompt with administrative privileges. Now, type in the following command. This command tells Windows to skip disk checking on the C drive during startup. If you want to disable it for other drives, just replace C with the appropriate drive letter. If you want to cancel disk checking on multiple drives at once, you can use the command like this. Now, let's move on to method 2, which involves using the registry editor. Open the run command and type the following to open the registry editor. In the registry editor, navigate to the following key. Now, on the right-hand side, look for a value called boot execute. Double-click on boot execute to edit it. In the value data field enter the following I already entered it earlier this is not the default. Replace the letter C with the desired driver you wish to stop disk checking. To restore the boot execute key to its default value, type in the following value. If disk checking persists on every startup despite attempting the methods outlined in the video, it's advisable to allow the scan to complete thoroughly. Should the scan uncover any irreparable errors, it's crucial to promptly back up your existing data to avoid potential loss and then proceed with replacing the drive before it reaches a critical point. You can also try using a third-party tool like ESUS Partition Master to check and fix errors on your disk. It has a built-in feature called Check File System which allows you to scan and repair file system issues on your disks or partitions. This can help resolve various types of disk errors, improving the overall performance and stability of your system. Keep in mind that while this tool is effective for file system checks and repairs, The link to this tool is in the description. That's all for today's tutorial. I hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tech tutorials like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.